Yo, what up? Be okay in this motherfucker. It's gonna be okay in this motherfucker. So, I'm just gonna give y'all a little story time. I went and I was uh, standing outside of this this um, tow yard for for vehicles or whatnot. And there was a guy standing out there and he was like, what's up, bro? And I was like, what's good? And he was like, oh, nothing. I've been sitting here for for hours. I've been sitting here since like 3 a.m. And I'm looking like, bro, it's 11 o'clock. Would you? He's like, the dude wouldn't, like, the dude won't release my car, man. I'm like, dude, that's ridiculous. He was like, and I called the officers about I called the police officers about three times and no one has showed up. And I'm like, that's even crazier, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm paying attention to the numbers. But he was like, uh, yeah, you seem like a cool dude. Like, what do you do? And I was just telling him, you know, about the channel. And he was like, yeah, dude, some of that stuff's been happening, but I don't really say too much about it. And he was telling me how he was a software uh, developer and uh, how he's starting, he's trying to look to start a new business and whatnot. But long story short, um, the dude ended up telling me he believed in Jesus and whatnot. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? He was like, do you believe in, in Jesus? And I was, I gave him my, I was like, nah, not really. At one point, I was non denominational. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, you know, I just, uh, I just, I'm, he, he was like, I just came from the, basically a mental home, you know, and, you know, they gave me these drugs that, that, that was supposed to put him to sleep, but I guess he said they gave him drugs that made him feel like he was restless even after he, you know, lay down or whatnot, so he felt like he wanted to walk for, you know, 11 hours. So he ended up walking to the place he was at and it was like, uh, I guess like a four or five hour walk. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. But then getting back into the whole Jesus, you know, thing, he was like, yeah, I believe in, in Jesus and he's telling me to tell you three things. And I'm like, okay. And he was like, yeah, so um, he said, you're very powerful, you're very special, and you're very powerful, and he loves you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's that's cool and whatnot. And he was like, yeah, so, dude, it's crazy. I've been in there for a while, and, you know, so I say all that to say, you know, they – they put you in these mental homes, even if you believe in Jesus. So let's. So it's crazy how people say they have a connection with Jesus. They say they hear the. He told me he heard the spirit of the Lord, and they put him in a mental home for actually hearing the spirit of the Lord. So what y'all doing is, y'all really telling people that. There is no way you could possibly hear the spirit of the Lord unless, you know, you're talking about the Lord. You know, like your man said, there are lords, you know, in charge, but not the Jesus Lord. But it's crazy because, you know, they tell you all these apostolic people and, you know, these evangelists that they hear the spirit of the Lord. But yet they not in these mental homes or nothing like that. So it just made me wonder, like, you know, what are y'all really trying to get across to these people? You know what I'm saying? They they basically tell you there's no possible way you can connect. But then if you actually do connect, you're mental. So it's just a game that's being played that y'all got to be aware of, man. So... Yeah, that's just my little rant. You know what I'm saying? Be peace, peaceful, family. I'm out.